Hi, it's been a bit. I had to hop on really quick because there's been so much happening. Um, and with my depression and anxiety and everything, I took a turn for the worst a few weeks ago and it got really bad. And um, so finally, friends and family realized just how critical a condition I was okay. in and like it was really hard for me to admit to myself that it had gotten that bad. Um, I have always had suicidal thoughts, but um, it hit harder than ever before to, um, that, that, that was the only option, I felt like, and that was so real. So. We went to doctors and we, my husband took a week off of work and just stayed with me and then we had family come and stay and it, I was just blown away with the amount of kindness and support system that I really didn't realize until then that I had and that's been huge. And um, so then as we've endeavored to find answers, we started going to doctors here and therapists and just trying to figure out why it's gotten worse, but ultimately how to how to get a control on it and get better. So we went to a doctor close by. Our our family doctor was out of town, and so we went to a doctor that was just on call and she actually recommended doing a genetics test and I had never heard of that before. So she told us about it and I guess it just kind of helps. Um, it tells what your body will tolerate the best and what it will utilize the best out of the medications and what things you specifically deal with. So I was thrilled that that could possibly work and um, we went it, she said that there's a pretty big waiting list, like you usually have to wait um, at least two weeks or so, but that they are pretty good about getting people in and through pretty quick. But then I called them that day, and then the very next day they said, hey, we have an opening that a cancellation just came through. Do you want to come up? And so we were able to get in really quick, and the, which was good because then after they took the test, we had to wait two weeks to get the results back. Um, but when they got it back, like, it said that my genetic testing said depression, ADHD, um, anxiety, and bipolar. And that was huge for me to see it's not just in my head. It's not just an emotional toughen up and deal with it, but that if you took my genetics, that you, you could see that that's that's something that I'm dealing with. So that was really exciting. And the other thing that it does though is tell what medications my body will react poorly to and I could have even worse side effects from. And all of the medications that I've tried so far was on the critical do not use list. And so I was blown away that I Oh, sorry. Our AC in this thing is crazy. But I was so excited that we now knew that medi some medications I actually could have a good impact. And so there's a, they give us another list of all of the medications that my body will respond good. So we're on our way right now to pick up those medications. And hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> this will be... A very big step in the right direction and that's the update for now so I encourage you to look up genetic testing that has been so exciting to see the actual results from it so